Hi, I'm Stephanie DeRocher, and today I'm going to show you one of my absolute favorite baby feeding products and how I use them in my very busy everyday life as a working mom with ADHD. These are reusable feeding pouches that I got online from Amazon. I'm going to link them in the description below, but I use these to save me time in the afternoons with my little guy. And also it's just a way for me to feed him in a healthier way where I have control over every single ingredient. I know everything that's going in here. It's just a really great way for him to be healthy and for me to save time. This particular brand that I've been using is called We Sprout. This set comes with six zip-up pouches with caps and I also order extra silicone caps as well because we accidentally threw away some of the caps at first so it just gives me a few extra but it's super easy. You just make what food you want to serve your baby as a like puree consistency. It can be somewhat thick but of course not too thick because you want it to be able to fit through the little spout and you can store them in the refrigerator. I prefer to store them in the refrigerator. I'm sure that you could also leave a little extra room in the pouch, don't fill it up all the way and store it in the freezer. But personally, we use these so much, my little guy goes through them so fast, there's not even really a need to freeze any. We just um, make them ahead for the week. This particular brand is dishwasher safe, plus it's free of BPA, PVC, and phthalate, so you don't have to worry about any of those chemicals leaching into the food that your baby's eating. When I first started using these, there was a slight learning curve with how to clean them, but now we're in a really good rhythm. And what I prefer to do is to use a baby bottle brush to clean the inside. And I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I'll find one that was accidentally left in the car or left out somewhere where it's not supposed to be. And in those situations, I will soak them in a cup of soapy water just to loosen everything. Then I'll scrub them with the bottle brush. Occasionally, I'll run them through the dishwasher. These are dishwasher safe, this brand is at least. And I just pry them open and stick them on the bottom rack of the dishwasher. But really, most of the time, I don't even do that. I just hand wash them um, with the bottle brush. Overnight, to dry them, you can actually take the cap that comes with it and use it to hold it open and let it dry on your countertop overnight with this propped open. I also have one of those drying racks that it looks like grass. It's these green plastic pieces that enables me to dry them where it holds the bottom up. So it's really two options. I've done it both ways. Once you use them a little bit, you'll get into your own rhythm with them as well, but they really last a long time. My son is right at 20 months old and we probably started using these around eight months old. And of course, check with your pediatrician because different babies start eating solids at different times and it depends on how they're doing developmentally and and a whole lot of factors so this is not medical or nutrition advice please talk to your pediatrician but as soon as we had my baby on pureed foods um, is when I started using these pouches which was somewhere between the six to eight month range and they're really just starting to get to where I feel like we need some fresh ones so I just ordered some so they've lasted and we use them very frequently but they've lasted well over a year so they last really well they hold up well I highly recommend them so what to put in them personally we've used a lot of different pureed foods for him in those pouches we've done different recipes but we have two that are really our go-to recipes that we cook every single week for him and one of them is we bake sweet potatoes in the oven and then we add just a tiny bit of butter and some cinnamon we mush that up and put them in the pouch and stick them in the fridge and we're good to go another go-to that we make every single week I would say is um, mushing up a banana or mashing a banana and mixing it with oatmeal and sprinkling cinnamon on it. He loves both of those. My baby definitely loves a little bit of cinnamon. <laughs> those are our go-to recipes. And like I said, we store them in the refrigerator, but sometimes I find right when they come out of the refrigerator, they're a little tough and they're not very soft. So what I'll do is run them under warm water or hot water just for, you know, 30 seconds to a minute, just to soften them up enough to where he can get the contents out easily. I never microwave these these, if you would microwave them, um, it could create hot spots and it could burn the baby's mouth. So please don't do that. If you're gonna heat it, do it with warm water. Personally, my little guy is used to eating them fresh when we first make it or right out of the refrigerator cold. He does not mind, it does not bother him one bit. So it just depends on what your baby's preferences are, but we don't really reheat them. What I love most about these is it's just as convenient as using the pouches at the store. And in fact, I find it makes less of a mess. Just as a working mom with ADHD, it's really a big life hack for me. It's really saved the day at least a couple of times a week on my busy work days. My little guy goes to daycare on days that I work, of course. I will sometimes 
to go pick him up and have a pouch ready because if we wait till we get home sometimes he's just so cranky and hungry and tired especially if it was a long day if I had to leave them there almost all day so I'll let him snack on that in the car on the way home we get home and he's in a much better mood he's much happier and our evening goes better I find in the afternoons I'm really tired my brain is tired especially on work days so there are other days where maybe I didn't give it to him in the car but I might let him snack on one as an after-school snack while I'm putting dinner together there may be some nights when we're eating something for dinner that's not toddler friendly and I already have those pouches pre-made so that's another night I might use one of the pouches just to give him a healthy option to sort of supplement whatever we're eating if it's not something that he really likes or enjoys it gives him a pretty healthy option and it gives me a peace of mind and last but certainly not least it gives my brain just a little bit of a break when I need it most and if you're a mom with ADHD you know exactly what I'm talking about sometimes creating structure can just be super hard for us and so this is just one of my little cheats that I've been using that's been very effective for me as you know a mom of a toddler again thanks for watching hit like and subscribe if you'd like to hear more and I'll see you next time bye